Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. I'm sure Lenny will appear, and I'm sure you guys might notice something a little different. Well, maybe a couple things. My hair is brown, and it's short. I think maybe quarantine got to me, and, uh, well, it's gone. So there's that. No, I am not a professional hairstylist. No, I don't know technically what I'm doing, but the beauty is, is, you know, after quarantine, if I really messed it up, I could just go pay someone to fix it. So, hope you guys like the new haircut. It's really kind of fun and uh, light and refreshing. Lenny is right over there in the corner bringing me his mouse. Oh, see? Let's see. Oh, got it. <laughs> this is our fun little game in the morning. Well, welcome. I'm glad you guys could make it today and I hope you guys are ready for some yoga. So come on down to the mat and get yourself your water close by. Get everything stretched out this morning so you can move on with your day. I don't know about you guys, but my day feels packed. So this will be a nice way to ease into a Saturday morning. Let's take a sip of that water. Come into a comfortable cross-legged seat, throw a mouse if you've got one close by, and get ready to begin. Take a big inhale in through the nose, sitting up nice and tall with your hands in your lap. Exhale, release those shoulders down away from your ears. You can go ahead and close your eyes, taking a big inhale in and out. Smile the entire time. It's a beautiful morning, beautiful day, and what a wonderful way to start the day. Inhaling in and out. And take several moments to just ground ourselves into our mat, connect with our breath so we can prepare to connect breath to pose later. Inhaling in, big inhale. Exhale, release. Notice how that breath feels as it enters your body. Cool on the nostril and at the back of the throat. You can feel its expansiveness in your lungs, pressing your rib cages away from one another. And then you can feel it coming back out of your body. Ribs coming in, lungs deflating, and warmth coming through your nostrils. And just picture that air traveling to the base of your lungs and then in through every single part of your body, helping you relax, helping your body restore, repair itself, and helping your mind come to a place of ease Bring that left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And we're just gonna, again, focus on that breath and how it feels within our upper body. Inhaling in and out. Let's do that one more time. In and out. Maybe you feel your chest lifting, right? When we are restricted to our chest, we're tightening all of those muscles in our upper body, which then creates that pain and discomfort, whether it is shoulder aches, your traps hurting, a headache, whatever that may be, all comes back to the breath. And so as we inhale, I want you to really picture that air going all the way down to your hand near your belly. So take a big inhale in, even breath as it comes out, Let's do that one more time. Inhale. And as you exhale, use the HA sound to engage your abs. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> do that one more time. In. Out. <sighs> Good. Now you don't have to keep making that sound and you can release your hands down. We know what it feels like to engage your core. And with every single exhale, 
engage your core, press that air out, and help utilize your entire diaphragm. Your diaphragm connects to so many joints in your body, so the more we practice proper breath, using that entire diaphragm, the more you are going to repair yourself. You're gonna relieve yourself from pain, you're gonna feel comfortable, you're gonna notice your posture is going to improve, you'll be calmer within the body, and there's just so many benefits. So again, we'll just stay here for a few more breaths, eyes closed, big smile, and just breathe. Great job. With that next inhale, go ahead and open your eyes. You can keep that smile on your face because why not? Take a big inhale, lift those arms all the way up, pinkies towards the front of the wall, turn your thumbs towards the outside edges so we're opening up through our shoulders, connecting to the deeper serratus anterior muscles, aka lower traps. Inhale, look up. And exhale, float your hands down. Inhale, lifting, and exhale. One more, in, big stretch at the top, and exhale, release. Great, bring your hands right onto your knees, tuck your fingertips underneath of your kneecaps. Inhale, lengthen that upper body, and exhale. Inhale, press your chest forward, look up. Exhale, pull your belly to the back wall, tuck your chin into your chest, lengthen through your arms here. Inhale, lengthen, coming forward. Exhale, round, going to the back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come forward, hold it there. We're gonna start to move in a circular motion. So involve your arms, you're gonna straighten one, maybe we straighten that right, move to the left, come to the back, straighten both, moving over to the right, bend that right elbow, and shift your body weight forward. Keep that going. Using your breath, maybe inhale as you come forward, exhale as you go back. Find what's comfortable for you here. Focusing on that breath, focusing on that movement, getting your spine to wake up. And when we come forward this next time, hold it there, take a big inhale in, and exhale, reverse directions. Again, getting your arms involved, bending, lengthening as you move around that circle. Connect to your breath, find what's comfortable. We'll go two more circles here. Last one, all the way around. Bringing it forward and then sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, release just that right arm down. Really extend that left hand. Again, turn your thumb towards that back wall. You can stay here on the palm of your hand, leaning over to the right, or you can drop down onto that forearm. If your left hip lifts, come back up onto your palm. Inhaling in, turn your chest towards the ceiling here, really feeling that stretch along the entire left side of your body, getting that length here, focusing on the breath, and don't forget to smile. Big inhale, and exhale. One more, just like that. Feel your left side of your ribs really pressing away. Exhale. Inhale, all the way back up. Arms lifted up and overhead. Exhale, release that left hand down this time. Lean over to the left and choose if you're going to be on that palm or come down onto the forearm. Turn your chest towards the sky here. If you need to come to about a halfway in between that palm and forearm, do what suits your body. 
right? We all have different body mechanics. We're all at different stages of growing in our flexibility and connecting to the movements. So just do what is comfortable for you. With time, you'll get to be able dropping, to drop that elbow all the way down. Find what's comfortable here. Big inhale, expand the right side of your ribs. Exhale, let it go. One more, just like that, in and out. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, lift those shoulders all the way up to your ears. Exhale, drop them back and down. In, lifting. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Great, go ahead and give yourself a little shimmy shake. Then we're gonna come onto all fours. Coming into our tabletop position, knees right underneath of your hips, wrists right underneath of your shoulders. I want you to take your hands, turn them outward towards the edge of your mat, and then rotate them towards your knees. You can walk your hands in a little closer so there's about a one to three inch gap between your knees. Inhale, look forward, lengthen through that spine. Exhale, sink your hips to your heels here until you can feel a nice generous stretch in that forearm. Keep your palms planted down, fingertips spread nice and wide. And just focus on that breath. Inhaling in and out. Engaging your core as you exhale. Really filling up your lungs as you inhale. Focus on that breath. You can send your gaze just out past your nose and focus your attention there. Take your mind off any discomfort you might feel in your arms. This is a really great stretch to help relieve any carpal tunnel type symptoms, any stiffness you have in your hands, your wrists, your fingers. You can get a subtle rock left and right, nothing too crazy, just enough that you are engaging those smaller muscles. Three more breaths here, inhaling in and out, two to go. Last one, holding it still in the middle. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift your palms off the mat, sit back on your heels. We're gonna spiral through our wrists here. You can flex your hands down towards the mat, up towards your face. You can shift them left and right. Just getting a little movement in our wrists. Waking them up just like we woke up our spine. And when you're ready, we're going to come back into our tabletop position. Curl your toes under, and with that inhale, drop your belly, send your gaze forward, lift your hips to the sky. Make sure you're pressing up and out of your shoulders here. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under, pull your belly button all the way to the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest, really press away from your hands. Inhale, drop that belly lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. We'll do two more with your own breath. Last one. Great job. I want you to go ahead and release your elbows down to the mat. Go ahead and walk your knees back several inches. You might want to open your shoulders wider than, or your elbows wider than your shoulder. And when you're ready, send your hips to the sky and bring your chest and forehead down towards the mat. Feeling a nice lengthening here. Think of turning your biceps towards the side walls, really engaging your shoulders, your traps. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. In. And at that exhale, shift your body weight forward, bringing your belly all the way down to the mat. Release your forehead down and extend your hands back behind you, palms to the floor. We're going to keep our head down at the, on the ground. <laughs> And we're going to inhale, lift your arms away from the floor, lift your shoulders away from the mat. Keep your head down. 
Exhale, release. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, release. Inhale. And exhale. One more. In. And out. Great. Bring your hands in front of you like you're a giant goal post with your elbows at a 90 degree angle. And again, inhale. Lift your arms all the way up. Squeeze your shoulder blades into the center. Keep that forehead down. Exhale, release. Inhale, lifting. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And again, once you inhale, hold it at the top. Really focus your energy on rolling those shoulder blades in towards one another, lifting your hands slightly higher. Exhale, release. You might feel a little fatigue in your shoulders, and that's okay. Inhale, one more. Exhale, let it go. We're going to keep that right hand planted. We're going to pull that left hand in front of your nose. You can bring your right cheek down to the mat. Lift that left elbow up towards the ceiling, keeping a 90 degree bend in that right arm. Inhale, we're just going to send our body to the back wall. Again, feeling a nice stretch through your pec here. You can keep your legs nice and long, point them to the corner, or you can bring that left leg behind you just slightly. Inhaling in and out. Find what's comfortable for your body here. Stack your hips on top of one another and don't overdo it. Just listen to your body and breathe. One more breath here. In and as we exhale, we're going to release all the way down. Bring that left cheek down, left arm out to a 90 degree angle. Right arm in front of your nose, elbow lifting to the sky. Inhale, stack those legs, twist to the back wall. Again, feeling that stretch in your pec. And just breathe. Focusing on that breath, big inhale in. And out. Feeling a nice stretch through your pec. You can press firmly into that right hand, shifting your torso slightly more to get a deeper stretch. Don't overdo it though. One more big inhale in, and exhale, roll back to center. We're gonna extend our arms out in front of us. Open your hands so your thumbs are pointing towards the ceiling, forehead down. Inhale, we're gonna lift our arms, lift our head, lift our chest away from the floor. Exhale, release. This time we're gonna engage the legs as well. Inhale, lift the upper body, lift your legs, Pull that core in. Exhale, release. Inhale, holding it there. Turn your palms down. And as you exhale, pull your elbows to that back wall, feeling your chest lifting even more slightly. Bring it forward. And exhale, release. Inhale, lifting. Doing that again. Exhale, elbows back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, release. One more, in, out, in, and out. Release it all the way down. Great job. Bring your hands underneath your chest, curl your toes under, come back up into our tabletop position, and then we're gonna send our hips to the sky, pulling your chest towards your thighs, coming into our downward facing dog. Really press into your index finger knuckles, having all 10 fingers spread here. Turn your elbows, the elbow crease towards the ceiling, getting that internal rotation. Focusing on your breath, big inhale and exhale. It's okay if you have a slight bend in your knees or your heels are away from the floor. In time, you'll get there. And rather you have the proper hand and arm positioning so we can engage the proper muscles, not have any compression within the upper body. One more breath here, in. And as you exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step all the way to the front of your mat. Bring your feet in close together. We're gonna inhale, glide our hands up towards our shins, Lengthen through your legs, lengthen through your upper body into our halfway lift. 
and exhale, forward fold. Release your upper body over your lower body. You can have a nice big bend in your knees, opening up through that low back. Tuck your chin into your chest. And just allow the lengthening to happen through your neck. Focus on your breath here, inhaling in and out. Inhale, glide your hands, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, we're going to lengthen all the way up, slow and controlled, straightening through your legs, tucking that tailbone under, rolling through your low back, mid back, upper back, loop those shoulders up, back, and down. Open your palms to the wall in front. Close your eyes. Take a breath in. And now, with your eyes closed, I want you to lift all 10 toes away from the floor. And breathe. With your next inhale, I want you to spread your toes nice and wide. And as you exhale, try to just release one toe down at a time, starting with your pinky toes. Really working through our feet here. Inhale, lifting all 10 toes, spreading them nice and wide. Exhale, releasing one toe at a time. One more time, just like that. In and out. Great job. Bend your knees. Open your eyes if you haven't already. Drop those hands down. Sweep your arms all the way up. Thumbs to the back wall. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're going to draw a big circle with our arms as we stand all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, fold. Bring your palms all the way down. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting into plank with your wrists right under your shoulders. Inhaling in, pull that belly button into your spine. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly lower all the way down. Keep your elbows into your sides, nice and strong through your upper body. Don't just flop down. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, press through your arms. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Upward dog. And as we exhale, open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes into touch. Send your hips to your heels. Bring your forehead all the way down to the mat. Extend your arms out long in front of you. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In, out. Great job. Just let your breath come to a nice, normal rhythm. You can press into your fingertips, sending your hips a little closer to your heels, and then just breathe. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, we're going to shift all the way back up into our tabletop position, curling those toes under, and when you're ready, turn your palms slightly to the outside edges of your mat. Send your hips into downward dog. Roll those biceps towards the ceiling. Inhaling in. Exhale, press into the joint of that index finger, and just breathe. Inhale, exhale, one more breath here, in and out, inhale, look forward, bend your knees, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat, 
bring your toes in a little closer and release into your forward fold. Nice big bend in your knees. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands behind your ankles. Pull your elbows to the side walls, feeling a little deeper stretch. Release your head down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bringing a nice fluid movement through your body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up. Exhale, open your palms to the wall in front. Take a breath here. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hands down, draw a big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle. Palms together. And as we exhale, we're going to send our hips to the back wall, opening our hands as wide as our shoulders, coming into our chair pose. Lift your chest up. Really press all 10 toes into your mat here. Inhaling in. Exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper, keeping your chest lifted. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. In. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, chair. Focusing on your breath here. Inhaling in and out. Bring your palms together and with that next exhale, we're going to send our right elbow to our left knee. Keeping your chest lifted here, really press your right elbow into that leg, feeling your body stretch here. Focus on your breath. Notice if you really lift it in your hips, sink them back down. Feel that burn in through your thighs. One more breath here, in. And as you exhale, forward fold, send your hips to the sky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle. Exhale, chair. Palms together. Twist to the right this time. Bring that left elbow to that edge. Really lift in your chest. Sink your hips a little lower. Focus on that breath. Inhaling in. And out. One more breath here. In. Exhale. Release your hands down. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms. Step your left foot back this time. And then your right, shifting into our plank. And as you exhale, we'll move through our vinyasa. Slowly lowering all the way down. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, send it back into child's pose. Hips to heels, forehead all the way down. Arms extended out in front of you. Focus on your breath here. Take a big inhale in. And out. Inhaling in. Exhale, pressing into your hands, sending your hips to your heels a little further. Relax your shoulders down. Notice where you're still holding in tension and probably feeling it in your thighs right now. Just acknowledge it, maybe even clench those muscles, and then actively release, allowing yourself to come into a calm state. Lowering your heart rate, catching your breath. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today.
with your next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. Again, really pressing into the knuckles of your index finger here, turning your biceps towards the ceiling. And just breathe. See if you can lift your hips a little higher, lengthening through your legs. And then ground through that right heel. And with your next inhale, lift your left toes off the floor, keeping your hips parallel to the ground. Inhaling in, pressing through all 10 fingers here. And as you exhale, look forward, shift your weight, bend that knee, and step it on up. Bring that left hand outside of your left foot here. Inhale, lengthen your chest forward. Exhale. With your next inhale, I want you to squeeze your inner thighs in towards one another, and we're going to engage our abs. Sweep your arms all the way up. Inhaling in. And out. You can bend that back knee slightly so you can tuck your tailbone under here and then lengthen it. We really don't want to have a little dip in our low back here. Inhaling in. Exhale. Pull those elbows down so you're creating the letter W with your arms here. Holding it here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Bring your arms forward, palms together. Exhale. Pull them back. Pull your shoulder blades into the center. Inhale, lengthen all the way up. Exhale, pull them down. Bring them forward. Open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down. Inhale, forward. Open it up. Keep it going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, forward. Exhale, open. One more. Great. With your next inhale, send your hands back down to the mat. We're going to step that left foot back, move through our vinyasa. And again, send it back into child's pose. Bring your forehead all the way down. Staying here for three breaths. With that next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. One breath here, inhaling in. Exhale, pressing through that left heel this time, lift your right toes off the floor. Inhale, shift forward, send that foot all the way up. Bring that right hand to the outside edge, inhale, lengthen, look forward. As we exhale, we're going to pull our thighs in towards one another. Engage your abs. Inhale, sweep yourself all the way up. Find your balance. Tuck that tailbone under. Nice lengthening here. Take a big inhale. Shift your weight forward, sinking in that front knee. Exhale, pull those elbows down. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale down. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Keep it going. Up. Down. Forward. Back. Up. Down. Forward. Back. Two more. Last one. Great. Inhale. Send your body forward. Plant those hands down. Send yourself back into your plank and move through your vinyasa. And all the way back into child's pose. Now with this one, you can keep your knees into center if you would like. Send your hips to your heels. Extend your arms out so we can open up through our low back. Or again, you can open your knees as wide as your mat and sink yourself down, opening up through the hips. Close your eyes. Focus on that breath. Big inhale in. 
hand out. You can pull your hands back towards your shoulders. If you have your knees in close together, you can pull your hands all the way back towards your ankles, palms faced up. And just focus on that breath. You can allow your shoulders to round forward here. And fully surrender into this pose. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. This time, be extra specific. With your next inhale, bring your hands right under your shoulders if they're not there yet. Press yourself up and away from the floor, pulling your knees into center, sending your weight back towards your heels. Inhaling in, sitting up nice and tall, looping those shoulders up, back and down, resting your hands right on your thighs. Take a big inhale in, closing your eyes, and exhale. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, shift your body weight forward, curl your toes under, and we're going to send our weight back into our feet so we can get a nice stretch here. So again, monitor your pressure that you're putting in. You can always send your hips up just slightly to take that pressure out of your feet. Inhaling in and out. Just focus on your breath here. And stay here for two more breaths. With that next inhale, send your body weight forward and your legs to one side or the other, bringing your bottom all the way down. We're going to extend our legs out in front of us, feet right down onto the mat with your knees bent. Inhale, lift your arms, palms open to the ceiling. Exhale, sink it back as you slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Don't flop, slowly, slow and controlled. Release your arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest, catch them with your hands, give them a little tug, lifting that tailbone off the floor, holding it in center. Give yourself a little rock, left and right, massaging through your back. <laughs> Hanging out with your cat. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, release that left leg down. Bring your left hand onto your knee. Send that right hand, palm down to the floor. Open your knee to the left side. Keep your right shoulder blade down on the mat and look towards your right fingertips. Focus on your breath, big inhale. Feel your knee lifting just slightly. Exhale, release it down. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, come back to center, both knees into your chest. Give them a tug. Exhale, go ahead and release that left leg down. Bring your left palm to the floor this time. Send your knee over to the right side. Keep that left shoulder blade down. Look towards your left fingers. 
Focus on your breath. Big inhale in and out. One more breath here. Great. Inhale, roll back to center, knees into your chest. Give them a tug. And as you exhale, release one leg and then the other. Allowing your feet to fall open as wide as the mat. Release your hands down, palms open to the sky. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Feel yourself sinking right into the floor, getting heavy. Focusing on that breath. And we move into our final pose, Savasana. We lay here, we're still, we're present, and we breathe. With your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingertips, and bat your eyelashes open and closed. And when you're ready, turn onto your side facing me, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in, and out. Inhale, press yourself away from the floor, coming into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, bring your hands into your lap, close your eyes. Take a big inhale in and out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in and out. And kind in your thoughts. Bring your hands down to your lips, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words. Bring your hands down to your heart. Take a big inhale and exhale. Be kind in your actions. Take one more inhale in and as you exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining this morning. It's always a pleasure to be here in this virtual yoga world. I know it's weird, but I know you can still feel the energy. So I hope you enjoyed this live session. You can always catch any other session over on my YouTube. I'd love for you guys to help me reach my goal of getting to a thousand subscribers. So go subscribe, turn on notifications. So that way every Sunday morning, you know when a new one is coming out. So I will see you guys soon. And you guys have an awesome day. Bye.